This video is on organic reaction mechanism one, where we will be treating free radical substitution of arcanes and the halogenation substitution of arcanes. Uh, as you know, arcanes belong to the homologous series uh, with the general formula CnH2n plus 2. They belong to the homologous series with the general formula uh, Cn uh, Cn H2n plus 2. As you know, arcanes, all arcanes are saturated hydrocarbons with uh, carbon, carbon single bonds, and uh, carbon uh, CH bonds. Of course, uh, arcanes undergo substitution reaction with halogens uh, with a lot of uh, difficulty, especially with chlorine and, uh, and bromine. You know, for this reaction to go successfully, energy is required. And this energy comes from the UV light, that is the sunlight. And in this substitution reaction, the hydrogen atom in the hydrogen atoms in the arcane are replaced one at a time. We will be starting. Our example will be uh, the substitution reaction of uh, methane and uh, ethane. The, our reagents will have chlorine gas or bromine gas. Uh, condition, as I earlier said, in the presence of uh, ultraviolet light or what we call sunlight. Of course, Halogeno arcanes are always the product of this substitution. We want to start with um, methane. What happened with methane? Okay, methane is the first uh, member of this group. Uh, which we say methane, if it is one, it will be C H uh, 2 times 1 plus 2 is uh, four, that is methane. We are going to do substitution, a halogenation substitution reaction of this uh, hydrocarbon. Okay, as I said, all the hydrogen atoms in the methane are replaced one at a time, and energy is required. So let's start. Uh, we have uh, a thing here. You can say this is CH, um, uh, CH4, CH4 plus uh, chlorine molecule. As I said, it is a UV, a UV light. It is substituted, a chlorine atom is substituted. In that case, we will have a CH3, a Cl. Hydrogen chloride is always the product. For better understanding, what we do is, uh, let me just write a bond so that you see what is happening there. We have a methane molecule. Uh, plus what happens here is and our product is what our product is
hydrogen chloride. Step number two, this chloromethane reacts again with a molecule of chlorine. What happens there is this. The chloromethane goes again here. You will see how it's a continuous substitution reaction. Here, what happens here is Okay, it goes again. We continue here with this molecule again. This molecule will continue here again. As I said, it is a continuous process. This hydrogen is being substituted. And, that, and what will be the, the product? The product will be... The product will be... Then, this product again will come here again. It has to react for the last hydrogen to be substituted. And that is how the whole thing goes. But remember what happens. That, that bond, the CH bond must be broken to release what? To release the hydrogen for the formation of hydrogen chloride. We have chlorine, 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 and the last chlorine that was taken was which one?
a surplus supposed to be a chlorine here please because from here from here from this one it was a chlorine that comes it comes here again it comes here again and it is being substituted the last hydrogen is being substituted the breakage of the bond of chlorine molecule one chlorine comes substitute this and the hydrogen goes to form hydrogen chloride so now go back again as i said look at this bond here each of the uh, hydrogen atoms here is substituted the, each of the hydrogen atom is substituted one at a time in the methane molecule energy is required to break this bond energy is required to break this bond so what happens there is a breakage of this bond here there's a breakage of this bond here and a CL bond is also broken in that case in that case what happens the chlorine atom here substitute the hydrogen here and the hydrogen here combines with this hydrogen the hydrogen here combines with this chlorine uh, atom here and what happens is uh, hydrogen chloride so this is chloromethane chloromethane is formed chloromethane After the formation of chloromethane, chloromethane now reacts with a molecule of um, uh, chlorine. Chloromethane now reacts with a molecule of, with a molecule of chlorine. What happens with the molecule of chlorine? There is fission. Now one more uh, one chlorine atom joins up with this hydrogen here. There is breakage here in the molecule of chlorine, and there is oh, the CH bond too also breaks. Hydrogen and one of the chlorine atoms combined to give hydrogen chloride then the chlorine one, one of the chlorine atoms substitute the hydrogen so now it becomes what dichloromethane dichloromethane now dichloromethane comes here dichloromethane now comes here Dichloromethane now comes here to react with a molecule of what? With a molecule of chlorine again. The dichloromethane, which is this one, now react with a molecule of chlorine. What happened? The same procedure occurs. There's a breakage. One of the chlorine atoms combines. There is a CH bond. Um, when CH bond breaks, chlorine chlorine um, atom breaks. The chlorine chlorine uh, molecule. They, uh, it will break into two. Now, one of the atom combines with the chlorine here becomes hydrogen chloride. Then, the one of the chlorine atom substitute the hydrogen that was taken away from here. It becomes now what? Trichloromethane. Trichloromethane. Now, the trichloromethane now comes here what happened with trichloromethane it comes this is trichloromethane one two three trichloromethane now comes in here there is still a hydrogen there that hydrogen need to be replaced or substituted the same procedure occurs what happens there is a breakage one of these combined with these to form hydrogen chloride one of the chlorine now substitute the hydrogen that was that left this bond here now becomes the final hydrogen has been substituted by a chlorine atom now it is now tetrachloromethane tetrachloromethane and a word and a hydrogen chloride that is being formed 
this has been uh, I have I have decided to use by the bones for you to better understand else we would have used by the only the uh, simple equation in the simple equation is the same thing we would have just written as CH the same thing we would have just written as CH4 plus CH2 under UV light to give a CH3Cl plus HCl one chlorine a uh, one hydrogen atom as I said is replaced at a time just like that like that like that the same procedure goes with the same um, um, procedure goes with ethane if you go to ethane you have the same procedure we will substitute ethane to uh, we will substitute ethane for example in ethane if I was to use ethane here this is what you will see in ethane if I was to use ethane this is what you will see in ethane ethane molecule will be C2 that will be uh, C2 C2 H6 then plus chlorine molecule under UV light you will UV you will have a C2 we substitute one of the chlorine uh, hydrogen atoms here you will have C2 H5 H5 Cr plus what plus hydrogen chloride now this molecule comes here again and play the same rule as we saw in methane it is C2 H5 Cl plus Cl2 it gives what we keep on substituting the hydrogen CN all the hydrogen will keep on substituting them one at a time the first hydrogen have been substituted we are on five hydrogens now now one chlorine atom comes to substitute it we will have C2 C2 instead of 5 we have what C4 C4 what hydrogen when hydrogen when chlorine substitute it the number of chlorine are increasing in number so as hydrogen uh, the number of hydrogen atoms in ethane are decreasing the number of chlorine atoms there are increasing so instead of Cl it will be Cl2 over Cl2 the same thing goes instead of uh, the C2 H4 Cl2 plus HCl now this molecule comes here again let's see how it works until all the hydrogen atoms are fully substituted or are completely substituted now C2 H4 Cl2 plus C, um, Cl2, um, Cl2, yes, plus plus Cl2 will give what? Now the number has to drop to 3. It will not give us C2 C2 H instead of 4 is H3 
instead of 2Cl2, it is Cl3 because one hydrogen has come in. C2H3, Cl3. Cl3 plus what? Plus hydrogen chloride. Okay. Now the C2, H3, Cl3 plus hydrogen chloride now comes in here for the reaction to continue. It's a continuous process. We will have C2, H3, Cl3, Cl3 plus a chlorine molecule again. C2H3, Cl3 plus a chlorine molecule again. What happens? We are concerned with hydrogen atoms and the chlorine atoms. Now, we will still have our C2. What happens? It drops because one chlorine is coming to substitute it here. So we see it will not be C2, H2. Then what happened with the chlorine? What happened with the chlorine? The number of chlorine from 3 goes up. Plus HCl. Remember the um, uh, ethane is H6. We have to go to what is we, we are left with two other hydrogen atoms. So now we have to continue. Here we have to come back again and continue until all the hydrogen atoms are completely substituted. We have C2, H6, a Cl4. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, please. C2 uh, H um, C2 H2 H2 Cl4 plus chlorine molecule we will have C2H2 Cl4 plus chlorine, we will have C2. Now, what happens? It drops from 2 to 1. C2H. What happens with chlorine? From, from 4, it goes up. So, it is uh, uh, irreversible. As chlorine is going, as hydrogen is going down, the chlorine atoms are increasing. I mean, the chlorine atoms are increasing. Inversely proportional. Okay, C two H and Cl what? Cl five. It's a Cl five plus H C L. Now we come here to the last point where we now have a C two. H Cl5 plus chlorine molecule to give us. Now we have finally substituted our hydrogen atoms as they appear here. C2 no more hydrogen because one of the chlorine is coming to substitute it. So we now have C2 C2, no more hydrogen, Cl, C2, Cl6, plus HCl. C2, Cl6, plus H2L. So if you look at it, 
you see how it is how the whole thing goes from methane i mean ethane has six hydrogen atoms all of them are being substituted by a chlorine uh, atom okay when they see airborne breaks when they see a, um, a, a, a molecule of chlorine breaks one of the chlorine atoms come to substitute the hydrogen from the ethane and it result in a chloro a chloro ethane molecule a chloro ethane molecule with a hydrogen chloride that is being formed so one hydrogen has been substituted here we have what we, uh, what we now have here when one hydrogen is substituted we, we have c2 h5 cl plus hcl and this is called what we call it chloroethane chloroethane now this chloroethane now comes here and react with a molecule of chlorine and react with a molecule of chlorine to form c2 h4 cl2 plus hydrogen chloride and in that case we call this dichloroethane. Dichloroethane. Now, dichloroethane comes here. It will react and is being substituted. The, the hydrogen atoms are being substituted by the chlorine atom. The number of hydrogen atoms are decreasing. As they are decreasing from six five four three the hydrogen and the chlorine atoms are doing what they are increasing from one two three so now we have our product is c2 our product is c2 h3 cl3 for hydrogen chloride in that case we say it is trichloroethane trichloroethane now it goes again trichloroethane comes it reacts with a chlorine um, uh, with a chlorine molecule now what happens the same substitution continues to form what to form c2 to form c2 h2 cl4 plus hydrogen chloride in that case how many chlorine atoms are here there are four we now say it is tetrachloroethane Tetra tetrachloroethane. Now, tetrachloroethane. Let me just complete it. It goes now. Tetrachloroethane reacts again, and we have C two C two H, then Cl five plus this again uh, again um, to give the name of the molecule is uh, pentachloroethane. Pentachloro. Okay. okay. Now, this pentachloroethane comes here and reacts again for the final substitution of the hydrogen atom here and resulting in C2, in C2, Cl6 plus hydrogen chloride. And we say it is hexachloroethane. So this is a continuous process in this halogenation of arcane. We, we did the first one was with methane. I showed it through the bonds so that you can better understand. And, uh, and we went to the second uh, group in the uh, 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 member of the arcane, which is ethane. And uh, we, did, we have done the substitution uh, chronologically. You see that what you notice is that since it is to substitute the hydrogen atoms, the number of hydrogen uh, atoms that are decreasing from six right to zero, then the number of hydrogen um, chlorine atoms are increasing from zero to six. We are now done with halogenation of arcane with example for methane and uh, ethane. Now we know it takes us now to the next 
um, the next substitution reaction, which is a free radical substitution reaction of arcane. Free radical substitution reaction of arcane. What is a free radical? What is a free radical? A free radical, as you understand, a free radical is, as we said in, in our last video on free radical, on free radical, we said a free radical is a very reactive atom or molecule that has a single unpaired electron. It is a very reactive atom or a molecule that has a single unpaired electron. A free radical is formed by homolytic fission of a chlorine molecule. Not only a chlorine molecule or a very unstable organic compound. And the energy required for this reaction is from the UV light. It's from a UV light. Our free radical substitution reaction here will be the reaction of uh, methane with chlorine in the presence of UV light. Reaction of methane, reaction of, we are still going to use methane, reaction of methane, reaction of methane, reaction of methane, and um, chlorine uh, in the presence of UV light. Under uh, let me say, uh, UV uh, light. That is where the source of energy for this fission comes. Of course, a free radical substitution reaction it has three stages. It has three stages. It has three stages in our example here. We have the initiation stage. We have the propagation stage. And uh, we have the termination stage. In the initiation stage, where there is homolytic fission, I said there is homolytic fission in the initiation stage, what happens? A molecule of chlorine is being broken. The first stage is step number one. In step one, it is, we call it initiation stage. This is the first stage we call it initiation. Initiation, initiation stage. Oh, yeah. Initiation stage. Under this initiation stage, you, you will realize that you will realize, you will realize that this molecule chlorine that we are going to use. This is a molecule of chlorine that we are going to use. We have chlorine. Chlorine, chlorine. Under UV light. Um, hmm. UV. Under UV light. Uh, let me just put this to be homolytic fission. Homolytic fission, that is, where a molecule breaks, the molecule breaks, and each of the atom goes with what? With a single electron. It is equal. Homolytic is equal breakage. Okay. It will result in what? A free radical. The free radical is represented by a single electron. The free radical is represented by a single electron. We call them free radicals. Very reactive. What happens here is that you look at this molecule. The molecule is not polar. This molecule is not polar. 
this chlorine atom and this they are all the same the same force they have so in that case nothing's going nothing is pulling electron from one end to the other because they, they have the same electron negative uh, 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 they have the same electron negativity so for that reason we need energy from sunlight to initiate this uh, fission and in that case when it breaks when there is a breakage here what happens one this chlorine atom goes with a single electron and this other one has goes with a single electron so and that is represented by what by the curly arrow we have the one here that comes like this see how it comes the bond is being broken that is how it is I told you in our last video I said it is not double-headed it is not double-headed it's just half to indicate that this one this pair of electron that is used for bonding here it is divided into two one electron comes here and it is represented by half of this head and one of the electron comes here and is represented by half of this head if two of the electrons were going to one side it would have been a double headed arrow but since it is not a double uh, headed arrow it indicates that all one electron comes this way and the other one goes this way that's why it is indicated by half of this head the half of the head shows only one electron comes into to one of the chlorine atom one ele uh, electron goes to the other chlorine atom and that is why the resultant of this homolytic fission will be a chlorine atom with a single electron this other one with a single electron all we now call them free radicals that are very reactive so that is step number one step number two will be step number two now will be for step number two is propagate i mean a propagation step or stage step two step two uh, is propagation under propagation propagation under propagation another name we can see used for propagation we can say continuous homolytic fission continuous homolytic fission let me say continuous homolytic fission continuous continuous homolytic fission let me put it like that propagation stage here under the propagation stage what happens is this free radical formed the free radical that is formed here the free radical that is formed here will react with another uh, with the arcane it is very reactive it will now react with our example which is chloromethane uh, which is um, uh, methane the free radical will now react with the arcane which is uh, methane for our example and okay let me say react with uh, yeah one free radical reacts with free radical reacts with with the arcane two when the free radical reacts with arcane as each free radical is used up another one is regenerated As each free radical, free radical is used up, is used up, 
another is regenerated another is formed another is formed three three the ch bone the ch bone in methane breaks homolytically forming a methyl um, uh, radical ch bone breaks breaks CH bond breaks homolytically homolytically CH bond breaks homolytically forming what? forming a methyl radical forming a methyl radical forming this is a methyl radical forming this so now let's see the stages here okay propagation stage for this start here under propagation this is what you see under propagation we are now going to react we are now going to react the methane with the chlorine we will have ch3 the methane this is the methane plus what? Plus the free radical. This is methane plus the free radical. What forms? As I said, what is formed here is we we'll have this is already a radical that is formed. The radical is formed plus what plus the HCl. Now, what happens? We said under this stage we have a free radical and uh, a free radical that is reacting with uh, with an with the alkane molecule. Now that a free radical is very reactive, this is a free radical. This free radical again cannot react with the arcane it will have to react but with what but with a molecule of chlorine so we come here this is a free radical it must react with what with a molecule of chlorine and in this process what happens in this process in this process there's what i said it is continuous homolytic fission Continuous homolytic fission under propagation. There must be what? Homolytic fission. When there is a homolytic fission, one electron goes to one chlorine and one goes to the other chlorine. And what will, what will you observe? What you observe here is that what? A free radical is formed. And uh, so this is a free radical. One free radical from here and one free, uh, free radical, uh, chlorine free radical will react, will react to form a full molecule. Meanwhile, a free radical of chlorine is left. So this is how it goes. It will be a CH3 CH yeah there will be a CH3 then the chlorine which is uh, one of the free radical that attach itself there will be this one then what there is a free radical that is left when it took when this chlorine splits homolytically there are two free radicals there one um, free radical attaches itself with another free radical a complete molecule is formed then one free radical is left now this free radical is very very reactive it will need a molecule of okay it will need a molecule to react with now it will have to react with this one again so with this one it can easily react with this one again so it now goes now to step number two the free radicals here will come down again this is the free radical there that is coming out to react here
the free radical is not reacting plus this one when the free radical reacts here what happens i said there's continuous homolytic uh, homolytic fission uh, let me just explain it here for you to understand there is there is carbon carbon is there is hydrogen it is hydrogen this is hydrogen and this is what this is chlorine this is the molecule here this is chlorine we said it is free radical substitution reaction of arcane now the, the chlorine the hydrogen atom must be substituted but in this case what happens the ch bond always breaks ch bond always breaks so now one chlorine has been substituted and one hydrogen has been substituted the next one will be this one here when we substitute this one the next one will be this one when we substitute one the next one will be this one that is how it is supposed to be so if we substitute this one here in this molecule here if we substitute this one here now two chlorine has come here now the uh, if we substitute one here what happens there is homolytic fission when there's homolytic fission a free radical result here this now will be a free radical so it will be ch2 cl a free radical and hcl so this is what happens here uh, it will be ch it will be a ch2 cl We have to we are we are substituting this and when we when there is homolytic fission hydrogen goes with one uh, electron the carbon here is left with a one electron that is why there is this so it will be ch2 cl with that single electron that is here then hydrogen now goes with the single electron the single electron with the hydrogen will combine with another single electron here to form what we call hcl okay okay now we have got this we have got this the next thing now is what are we going to do now this is a free radical it is very reactive this is a free radical it is very very reactive so this free radical will need what for it to react very well it will need but a chlorine molecule it will need but a chlorine molecule so now this free radical comes down here ch2 ch2 cl It is very very unstable that is why it must react cr plus what plus a chlorine molecule now what what did i say homolytic fission continuous homolytic fission now the, there is a homolytic fission here when there is homolytic fission here one chlorine goes with single electron and this other one goes with another single electron one of these single electron will combine with this other chlorine atom to form double electron and a bond will be formed here so it will be a ch2 cl2 ch2 cl2 CH2 Cl2 is formed. Plus what? CH2 Cl2 plus what? Plus since it was a homolytic fission, there is a free radical here. Is a free radical now that will come here and it will be very very reactive. Plus a free radical of 
This is a free radical. This free radical here, this free radical here has the opportunity to still react with this with this molecule here. So it can still react with this molecule here to substitute what? To substitute one of the hydrogens. So there must be a CH uh, bond breakage. So now we now come here again. It is very reactive. It has to react with this molecule again. So it will be in a CH2, CH2, Cl2, plus, you are still reacting, a free radical. What happened? As I said, as I said, let me just uh, redraw it again so that you see what is happening here. This is a carbon atom. This hydrogen. This hydrogen. And these are the two chlorine that are there. Now it is reacting with this. Plus this free radical. What happened is that we have to substitute this hydrogen. So there must be what? There must be homolytic fission, CH bond. When there's homolytic fission here, the hydrogen atom goes with what? With a single electron. Then the carbon will be left with, with a single electron. This single electron of the carbon here will re uh, this single electron of the carbon here will form what we call what? It will form what we call a free radical molecule. So then the hydrogen here, free radical, will react with the chlorine, free radical, to form hydrogen chloride. So let me clear it off and we continue. So now, the molecule now that is formed here, the molecule now that is formed there will be will be CH it will be CH Cl Cl2 free radical a Cl2 free radical plus a hydrogen chloride now the CR2 free radical is very very reactive. So it will need what? It will need but a chlorine. This is uh, a free radical uh, molecule. It will need but a chlorine um, uh, molecule to react with. So it comes here. CH This is a CH Cr2 plus a chlorine molecule as we said there is free uh, there is homolytic fission here there's homolytic fission there and when there is homolytic fission here a free radical results there are two two free radical result here now one of the free radical will be out with this one one of the free radicals will react with, uh, with, the, with the free radical here to form a full molecule. And what happens? The hydrogen from here, hydrogen from here will do what? See what happens. A CH, CH, CL, a free radical plus another free radical here, CH, uh, yeah, it's supposed to be three. Yeah, it's supposed to be three of them. Two here plus this one that comes here will be what? Will be three. Will be CH3 plus a chlorine free radical. Chlorine free radical. As I told you, in under this stage, there is continuous homolytic fission and there is 
when a free radical is used up, another one is formed. When a free radical is used up, another one is formed. So now, a free, the free radical has been used up when it reacted with another free radical from chlorine here. Then if a chlorine free radical again is regenerated here. So now the chlorine free radical is very, very reactive. As it is very, very reactive, it shows that it can react with this molecule again. So it comes down again to react with this other molecule. So we say the CH Cl3 CH Cl3 plus the chlorine free radical. What will be what will be the result? Now, what happened is that there is what, as I said again, a carbon, there's only one hydrogen left, the rest are what? The rest are chlorine. There's chlorine, there's chlorine, there's chlorine. So the most a CH bond homolytic. There must be the breakage of the CH bond. So what happens? The substitution. That is how it is. This one will come here to do what? There is homolytic fission here. In this homolytic fission, what happens? Hydrogen goes as a free radical with a single electron and there will be another free radical here that will be formed. The free radical that will result from here will react with this other free radical to form CCl4 and the hydrogen will be left as a free radical. So this is how it goes. You will see that in this our reaction here, we will have C Cl4 plus a hydrogen, a hydrogen that is generated as a free radical, as a free radical. The, the reaction will continue and continue and continue. And this reaction, if it was to continue, hydrogen as a free radical will not react with this one. It will need a, a, a chlorine molecule to react. If we were to continue with this free radical again here, what will happen will definitely be a hydrogen free radical plus a chlorine molecule to give what? There must be, I said, homolytic fission. There will definitely be a homolytic fission. And what will happen? Chlorine, one of the chlorine radical, free radical, because it, when it breaks, there's, there are two free radicals. One of the free radicals will react with another free radical here, and HCl is formed. Then plus a chlorine free radical. A chlorine this chlorine free radical can now look for another molecule and start doing the replacement like that and so on and so on. And so on. That is how the whole thing goes. That is how propagation stage goes. The next stage of this will be the termination stage. The next stage of this will be the termination stage. What is the termination stage? In the termination stage, you will have, in the termination stage, where you will have a termination stage that is step number three. Step three. Termination.
on that termination uh, under the termination stage what happens here we end the reaction ends when a free radical reacts with another free radical to form a single product under this stage we have free radical plus free radical here free radical plus free radical Free radical plus free radical to form what? Single product. Under this stage, no free radical is formed. Only a single product is formed from single ra from free radical plus free radical. No free radical is formed. Only a single product is formed. An example of this is one. You will have a chlorine. Free radical plus another chlorine, free, free radical to form what? A chlorine molecule. You will have a methane free radical plus a methane free radical plus uh, a chlorine free radical. We will have what? Chloromethane. You will have. Um, um, uh, yeah, a free radical like this one, a methane free radical plus another methane free radical will have what? A, uh, uh, an ethane molecule will be formed. Will be CH3, CH3. CH3, CH3. That is how you can do it. Or you can have a molecule like, uh, like this. A uh, you can have a free radical like this one, which will be a CH2, a CH2, a CH2 a CL free radical plus a CH2, a CL free radical will give us what? We will have, um, hmm? Uh, CH2 CL CH2 CL which uh, we want to write uh, we want to write the formula it will be uh, C2 uh, H4 and uh, CL2 remember remember that to produce tetrachloromethane Excess of chlorine gas is needed, but uh, bromine reacts in a similar way, but the reaction is slower. Okay, we have uh, a, a small. Um, um, so this is the examples here. You can see them. These are good examples here. Yeah, you have been given example number one. Chlorine, chlorine reacting, chlorine and uh, methane free radical reacting. Okay, this is our exam pass uh, question. It says, in this exam pass paper, let's see how we can answer this question. Okay, uh, briefly. Okay, this is complete the table, table 4.1 to give details of the mechanism in reaction one. Uh, the reaction was already mentioned, I did not uh, put it. Include curly arrows to show the movement of electrons occurring in the termination stage. Okay. Okay. What molecule do you think will result in this? To uh, chlorine, chlorine molecule to give two um, um, to give two uh, chlorine radicals. What step is that? You saw it to give two uh, chlorine radicals. This here, there are two uh, chlorine radicals there. So what stage is that? This is the stage. The stage here, this is the stage, the initiation stage, that is the initiation stage here. So we say this, initiation, that is the initiation step. Okay, propagation, we say propagation is continuous homolytic fission. So what, okay, they are telling us, now this is a free radical. A free radical needs something. There must be what we call there must be what we call homolytic fission here. 
to produce a molecule here. He is a free radical that has been produced. What is over the product? What is over the product here is what? From this cyclo, uh, uh, from the um, uh, cyclohexane, here you will see that this is a free radical. And uh, what will be the product? The other product is HCl. HCl is always uh, a free radical and hydrogen chloride. Then it takes us to this other one here. What stage will a free radical plus a chlorine molecule react? A free radical and a chlorine molecule. As I said the other time, here a free radical and a chlorine molecule will react where? A free radical and a chlorine molecule. A free radical and a chlorine, a, a free radical and uh, a methane molecule. Free radical and a methane molecule. What stage is that? The stage is always a propagation stage. Always a propagation stage. So now, okay, the chlorine molecule and a free radical is what? The, there is a propagation stage. Propagation. There's always a propagation stage. Now, what stage is the in, in the termination stage? What happens to give this? Two free radicals must react here to produce this chloro, um, um, chlorohexane. In this case, there are two free radicals. There is a free radical of the chlorine and a free radical of the chloro, uh, of the hexane. And these are the free radicals. These are the free radicals I am as I'm putting like this. So these are the free radicals. These are the single electrons there. Here. And these are the electrons here. Now a free radical with a free radical I have a free radical. The two electrons. These two electrons, what happens is that they come together. And this other one come together. They are half electrons. They come together to produce this one. And this is the molecule. That is how you can do this. You can do this reaction. So please learn us solve more uh, problems like this one and uh, you will become used to the mechanism thank you for listening thank you for listening learners like share and subscribe so that in the next mechanism you will be the first person to get watch in our next video, we'll be treating electrophilic addition, electrophilic addition of arcanes. Thank you very much.